Let me ask you just one question. Do you think that we're alone in this universe? Hi, my name is James Holmes and I'm a space scientist at the Open University. And this is just one of the many questions we'll be looking to answer using observations taken by the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter. By now, this spacecraft is circling Mars and taking scientific measurements of the light being reflected from the surface and the atmosphere. Our team at the Open University will be using these observations to unravel the mysteries of the chemical atmosphere on Mars. The spacecraft began its seven-month journey to Mars in October 2016, and on arrival near to Mars, it began testing and applying newly developed aerobraking techniques and allowing it to manoeuvre into a circular science orbit. So you may be wondering, why Mars? Well, this mission was conceived to study the chemicals swirling around the atmosphere of Mars, and in particular to look at the unexplained discovery of methane. As we're researching the atmosphere of other planets, we look to compare our measurements to what we know from here on Earth. In the case of methane, we know on Earth that it's produced by life, so that's animals and plants. We know that there are a lot of similarities between Earth and Mars, so this provides us with a tantalising question. Is the methane on Mars produced by life? To answer this question, we need more sensitive measurements of the Mars atmosphere than are currently available. This is where the Trace Gas Orbiter comes in, which has been specifically designed with cutting edge instruments to help us determine whether Mars once did, or currently does, harbour life. While observations are fantastic to have, the orientation of the spacecraft means that there will be gaps in the coverage, and this is where computer models come into play. Using computer models of the Mars atmosphere and surface, we are able to investigate what led to the magnitude and distribution shown in the observations and link different parts of the atmosphere into one integrated global view. One benefit of combining the observations with computer models is that we are able to predict the global winds on Mars and this gives us the ability to, if we see a methane release, to trace it back to where it came from and this will provide clues to what is actually producing the methane in the first place. By the time of your visit to the Summer Science Exhibition, the Trace Gas Orbiter will have taken its first science measurements. So come and say hello and hear about our exciting results.